My Bumble Up A1 printer has already over 800 hours of printing time on it. So I think it's time I stop ignoring the it's time to lubricate the rails message and finally give it its first maintenance. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I have my A1 for quite some time now and it's been printing for me a lot of stuff. But for some reason every time this message pops up I just ignore it and say I'm gonna do it later. But that later is now and I think it's time to give it its first maintenance. So today it's exactly what I'm gonna do. Following the guides on the Bamboo Labs wiki page. I've gathered some of the materials that they suggest to use and also 3D printed a couple of tools that will help me out with the maintenance. Here's a quick list of the steps I'm gonna take. If you're only interested in some of them, please use the chapters in the description to go there. Let's get started. I'm starting with turning off the printer and unplugging the power cable. Next, I'm using one of the tools I printed to take out the PTFE tubes from the IMS. I unplug the IMS cable from the back of the printer and take it off by unscrewing this screw that holds it in the top mount. I empty the poop bucket and take it aside together with the tool drawer and the poop deflector. Now let's unplug the PTFE tubes on the printing head and remove this mod that I've installed, so the flexi guider that holds the power cable. When that's done, I'm taking the vacuum cleaner and clean all of the filament dirt that accumulated on the printer and the surroundings. Now it's time to clean the rails. Let's start with the X axis. Looks like there is a lot of dirt that gathered there. I'm using a microfiber cloth to take out most of the dirt and also using isopropanol to get rid of any dirt left, especially in these tight spots here. Can't forget about the bottom side of the rail. After the rail is clean, I take the lubricant oil that came together with the printer, apply a bit in few places on the rail and use the 3D printed tool to spread it. I also move the printing head back and forth a few times to help spread the oil evenly. For the y-axis, I need to take off this cover. Looks like there's a lot of shavings from the belt here. I'm not sure if this is normal. I will need to check that later on wiki page. For now, let's clean this mess. First with the vacuum cleaner and later a little bit with the cloth. Now I take the same lubricant oil, put it in a few places on the rail and spread it with another 3D printed tool. I do it first at the back on both sides, then I do it in the front of the printer on both sides and then I move the bed back and forth a few times to help spreading the lubrication. For the lead screws, I take the cloth and try to clean them as much as I can. For this one we're gonna use the other lubricant that came with the printer, which is the lubricant grease. Bumble Up suggests not to use the lubricant oils on the lead screws. Again, I'm applying the grease in a couple of places and then using another 3D printed tool to spread it evenly. Because this one doesn't go so easily as the rails, I'm gonna power on the printer and use the control settings to move it up and down. Okay, we have the rails and lead screws lubricated. Now it's time to see what hides in the print head. First, I'm taking off the black rubber saw. Behind it, there is a quick release mechanism that holds the hot end. It is super easy to take out. You just open this clasp and the hot end is out. After inspecting, it doesn't look that dirty, but I'm gonna clean it a bit and also the socket that it was in. Before placing the hot end back though, I will check the filament cutting knife. To get to this one, you have to unscrew this screw here and the lever that holds the cutting knife will just open. The knife looks fine, it basically looks like it hasn't been used at all, which is fine. So I'm not gonna replace it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it as it is. Now for the extruder, I can see it's a bit dirty, but I'm not gonna take it out because that requires a lot of taking apart parts and from what I can see on the wiki page, it's gonna take forever. So maybe when I will replace it, in the future for the hardened one, I will make a video about it. For now, I'll just use the compressed air to clean as much as I can. Things are looking good, so I think I'll just reassemble everything and go to the next step. The nozzle cleaning rubber at the back doesn't look bad enough to replace it, so I'm gonna just clean it a bit and leave it as it is. But the print plates, even if they look clean, there might not be, so I'm gonna just take all of them and wash them in the sink. For this, I printed this handle that helps keeping dirty hands from the print place surface. Now that everything is clean and lubricated, let's put back all the mods in and run full calibration. Mm -hmm. 
And that's it for the maintenance. The printer is now clean, lubricated, calibrated and shiny and it can print for another 800 hours. I'm just joking, the 800 hours probably was a bit too much, I think I should do the maintenance more often. But to be honest, there's not much of a difference between the print quality that I've at least I've noticed before the maintenance and after it. But just to be sure that your printer is running properly, it's best to do it more often. So this is going to be my maintenance routine from now on. I hope it's going to be useful for somebody. Of course, there are other steps that are mentioned on Bamboo Lab wiki page, but I'm not doing all of them because that's not needed. Let me know what kind of maintenance steps you do. Do you only lubricate the rails and lead screws and that's it or do you also do something else and if 800 hours is too much or not let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe here you can find other videos from my channel that's it from me for now thanks for watching and see you next time